back like nothing ever happened. Biscuits from Heaven with another Spotify video. And uh, if you hear music or whatever in the background, it's my brother and his loud TV. I don't know what's wrong with this dude. Anyway, so December is done and shout out to Secret. Um, I just stumbled upon his album as a song that's very popular uh, called I Don't Feel Like Crying Anymore, which played every single every single second I um, worked. Every second, every day I worked over the summertime. But that's uh, for another story. So here's our playlist. Um, I started very, very good, very hot in it. And uh, I kind of cooled off as the uh, month progressed. Just being a lazy bum uh, kind of caused me to like, listen to less music. But uh, just for now, Pentatonix. There's a cover of uh, Imogen Heaps just for now, which is most popular for uh, being used in Clans Casino's uh, I'm God production. Uh, all of night, one of the more low key cuts, pretty much any cut off that's passed from like the past five. I don't know what I just said there. Any cut that's after the past five songs on um the leak Jai Paul self title uh demo, it's pretty much low key, other than uh BTS EU and Jasmine. And no one really gives this song too much reps, but it's pretty good. Absolutely, another track off of uh Born Like This. Technically a Mad Villain production. Um, I don't believe every song is produced by Mad Lib. Yeah, it just happens to be this one. I think he raps over just other people's beats. I don't think it's like him getting the original production on that album. But it's pretty good. Uh, Bad Vice Forever just kind of like a S track I put in there. Uh, R.I.P. of course. Modest Mouse. Uh, started on the shuffle, I believe. House of Sugar. This was like, I think I added this like late November. Uh, I listened to that album. Finally got through to it. I know... Um, a lot of people with Frank stands were recommending it, and uh, I finally just got through and listened to it. And it, it I'm not the biggest fan of folk music, um, or folk sounding type of music, I guess, but I mean, it worked. Uh, Strip You, I don't actually remember this song very much. Some of these tracks were like late last, well, late November, so I'm not completely familiar with all some of them, but oh, five, fuck am I listening to that? Um, I had the one tenth of it, I think, and uh, that's about as far as I could have gone. LSD, great fits the mood. A lot of these just fit the mood. Uh, Ghetto Lenny's long love songs. Uh, I finally got around to listen to that. I had the tab put up like five or six months. And uh, there's a couple. It's like the first half is really good. Like almost album of the year type of contender. But the back half is just boring and just repetitive R&B traps. I wasn't really feeling that too much. Uh, a couple of Christmas tracks. Uh, Chuck Berry. My last December playlist from 2018 had a lot of Christmas joints. I just carried some of those over. Uh, Chuck Berry, Run a Rough Run. A lot more soul to it than your usual Christmas joint. Um, Christmas in Harlem, one of the few cuts from uh, Good Fridays is on Spotify. I don't know why all of them aren't. I guess there's not much many samples in here, if any. So he was able to clear it easily. Uh, Ghetto Christmas Carol. I played the mess out of that. EP two years ago in his release. I can't like get repetitively put it in there. And I put it in in the last year's playlist as well. But I just put the one I liked a little bit. Uh, Psycho Pump, uh, Japanese Breakfast. Just a generally good album. I mean, if you like her, her words, like her lyrics, I kind of am iffy on. I don't like, I can't understand Japanese Breakfast sometimes. Like the, the production's cool, but like I can't understand her words sometimes. Maybe that's just me. Uh, Pimp the Pen, I was listening to um, Serving a Deuce and uh, just wanted to throw another track from there, um, from the album that's on on here. Uh, Netflix and Deal, Disco Shit, Beg Your Part. It's really hard for me to like any O3 Grill song that's not Sweet Lady. And that's apparently like not a sound he used like that. The flow, like he had a traditional rapping style and he was like, actually trying to rap and then like the beat he doesn't rap over beats like that very often he doesn't rap like that very often so i'm the biggest fan of his sound but it kind of works for these couple of tracks uh the i kind of like them well the freddie gibbs feature was kind of like okay Matt cream snapped on begging pardon uh cobain uh soundcloud classic from peep and tracy that finally got added due to his uh documentary slash uh album slash compilation i guess uh, being released to the public, 
uh, prayers, mic, war in my pen. I try to get into um, slums as much as I can from time to time. Uh, back to back, as people may know, I was did a video on Baby Cody. Um, I might be his his little collab with uh, No Friends, and I you know check back in on him, and it was a pretty good project. Vogue, I recommend it. Uh, gotta have it. Jay Z's disc discog finally got added back to Spotify for his 50th birthday, so that's cool. Uh, Uncle Cracker, I think that was suggested to me. Uh, pretty cool little track. Uh, the Bean kicked in. Zach Fox's sequel, I guess, uh, successor to um, the one Kenny Beats. Uh, I got depression. Uh, this beat may be better shot in the dark, but uh, or Braden, I guess. Uh, I don't think it's quite as interesting a song though. Uh, Young Gravy, BB knows. Um, no, BB no dollar sign. Anyway, um, a little back and forth cut. And I, like, I guess they have like their certain peculiar tags. Like you know, Young Gravy. The, the oh, I don't know. I can't. I'm sick right now. I can't really do it. But uh, his his notable sound, and then BB does his, and it's kind of like back and forth cut. Uh, Max B, Max Bigavelli, first tape in a minute, I believe. Uh, I think he dropped one last year. But he's about to get out, I believe, pretty soon if he's not already out. So that's, you know, his thing. Uh, ben Fuego, I, had a, I also had a Space Ghost Perp tab, um, tab put up for a few months of some of his best tracks. And most of them weren't on Spotify, but this one was. Uh, another Max B track, Perfect Time, Excuse, please excuse me for being antisocial. One of the better hip-hop projects of the year. Uh, Six Kiss, I was listening to Six Kiss by Lil B, but this popped up and I wanted to listen to it. I believe this is the same day that Juice World had passed away, so I just put it on, and uh, it's pretty good. Uh, Dad Lovell, um, I think I was, I think it's a Daily Mint suggestion. Um, it's a pretty good track. Uh, Sit Press, Hell in My Wounds, one of Sit Press's most notable tracks, I believe. Uh, came on Daily Mints, and, you know, I liked it. Uh, Billy Eilish, I believe I put this on because of um, a Billy Eilish project or video I was doing. Uh, Paris Tokyo Classic Track. Just fit the vibe of December. Uh, I changed the fucking life by Rick Ross. Or oh, Essence of Time featuring Rick Ross. Real short track, but uh, I loved it. Uh, Mele Kaliki Mama Maka. Mele Kaliki Maka. Uh, very Casey Christmas. I believe this is the original one. Uh, she re released it as like a, I guess, a live studio recording or some shit like that. Uh, but I think this is the original one. It dropped 2017. Uh, pretty good uh, compilation. Uh, Food Saw Shuffle 2020. Um, shout out to Lil Uzi. Uh, Gadgets by uh, TJ at Sits. Let's see. So this is just a single. He re-released this on the uh, compilation tape he released later. It had Dynamic Duo on it. Uh, pretty good. Road to Falconia, one of the best tapes of the year, of course. Go listen to that immediately. Uh, Dirty Iana. <laughs> This man covered Dirty Diana. I've never heard a rapper do that. Uh, Gary's song. I was listening to Gary Wilson, and uh, that came on. I liked it. Um, Hope Tyler. I don't even remember this one, but it, if it came on here, it's pretty good. Chiasma. Uh, Let the Sun Talk on the best albums of the year, of course. Shout out to Slums. Uh, Dummy Boy. I listened to this. I think the day that 6 9 was uh, supposed to be released the day after, and uh, of course that didn't happen, but... Uh, one of his better tracks, uh, the A B with the hoodie, hoodie since not connection is from Undefeated, I believe. Uh, Big Thief, one of the better. How much of this I listen to? This is one of the better tapes, uh, songs of the year. I didn't listen to the whole album, although people eat the mess out of Big Thief, so I assume it's good. Little Bark, Big Bark. I'll try to remove some of the projects I never listened to off of my iTunes, like I can make a space. And uh, Cyber uh, Netgear is one of the projects on there. This is one of the better songs off of that, but I don't think it was exactly amazing. But, you know, it's cool. He's trying to be, like, I guess, a um, a parody of uh, other artists on this project. Uh, Phoebe Bridgers, Fiona, Fiona Apple, Matt Berenger. Um, cool Christmas track. Fiona Apple was a pretty notable uh I don't want to keep on saying folk, like indie. I think, like, I think about that sound, I think it's folk. Uh, kind of like, you know, that sound. But, yeah, that's what kind of the lane it, it's in. Uh, Hamilton Charles by Charles Hamilton. Um, 
I had just another song I had in the iTunes, and uh, it's a couple of really good songs off of this project. I'm trying to listen to Pink Lady, uh, the Pink Lava Lamp right now, and uh, we'll see how that goes. But anyway, that's the playlist. Um, go peep the secret tape. This is really good so far. Uh, Sucker Punch of Mine right now is one of my favorite tracks. And uh, Don't Feel Like Crying is obviously like huge, like I said. It's a pretty good track, I mean. Hey, shout out to Indies. Shout out to Ginger's. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video, peace.